Hi, I'm Art and welcome to another Bumpai video. And today we are going to review a Dutch Suzuki Cappuccino brochure from 1994. Previous video, I gave you the choice to either the Cappuccino brochure, another Dutch Mitsubishi Starion brochure, or a JDM a Light Ace Wagon brochure. And the Light Ace Wagon only received one vote. Uh, the Starion received three votes and the cappuccino received a whopping seven votes. So that was the most popular one and I kind of expected that already. And thank you for voting. If you want to vote for the next video, uh, keep continue watching till the end and then I'll reveal what's the choice of the next video. And before jumping into the brochure, I want to give a little bit of history lesson on the Suzuki Cappuccino in the Netherlands. In the previous video, I've spoken about 25 cappuccinos ever being sold in the Netherlands. And that statement is true. In 1993, the cappuccino is being showcased by Suzuki on the Amsterdam International Motor Show, also known as the Autorai. After receiving many positive reactions on the cappuccino, Suzuki decided to sell it in the Netherlands. They don't expect the car to sell very well actually, but since the car will be a halo car, they set the target to around 25 cars. Only 23 changes were required to approve the car in the United Kingdom. And since the cappuccino was already selling in the UK, it was relatively easy to get them to the Netherlands. And obviously headlights have to be converted to left hand drive and Suzuki decided to manufacture these by hand as they were not available. What wasn't converted was the seating position. As the cappuccino was never intended to be sold outside Japan in left hand drive countries. The steering wheel then remains on the right. As expected it takes years before the 25 cappuccinos get sold. Two factors contribute to this. The very high selling price, initially 48,000 guilders, which translates to uh, 32,800 euros or 38,700 700 dollars today money. So that's a lot of money. For that money you can get like a very big Volvo. Well, not that very big, a V40 with all the specs. Well, anyway, uh, the dealers really did have difficulty of letting their halo cars go. I mean, those cars were like showing off how awesome Suzuki was and of course selling uh, lesser cars like the Suzuki Swift GTI. With that covered, let's jump into this Dutch brochure. The cover shows a brilliant red color of the cappuccino and I know the car got delivered in red and silver in the UK, but this brochure may actually suggest that it was only available in one color in the Netherlands. Folding out the brochure reveals some design concepts followed by a brilliant red cappuccino and a ditto 90s lady. At the bottom of the page we are shown how the roof can be used as a coupe or coupe depending on where you live, targa, t-bar or cabrio. Um, this cappuccino is shown in silver so perhaps we did get a few silver ones. I don't know, it's not confirmed that we actually got them. Then the page continues with some specifications on the cappuccino, like the dimensions, the 657cc turbocharged three-cylinder engine, and all-round individual suspension and disc brakes. Quite a good car for the money. Once you flip over the brochure, it actually shows the purpose of this brochure. I said in a previous video, why did they make a brochure for 25 cars? Well, it's a halo car for the Suzuki lineup. It's a giveaway. They just give it to potential buyers, well, potential between quotes. It's just pushing sales for the Swift Cabrio, the GTI, the Vitara and the Samurai. This brochure is dated on the 20th of April 1994, which is in line with the history that I've given you earlier. Well, to be honest, I think Suzuki was right to import the cappuccino into the Netherlands. It really showed what Suzuki was capable of doing in the early 90s. Building highly technical advanced cars with a huge fun factor. I really hope you have enjoyed this brochure video and for the next time I have the Sterion brochure that you can choose again. I have the Light Ace Wagon again. Yes, I really like this one and I hope you will choose that one. 
Um, or this 1975 Mazda 121 brochure, which is a Dutch brochure of the Japanese Mazda Cosmo AP. And AP stands for anti-pollution. So just let me in the let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite Mazda, Toyota, or Mitsubishi, and I'll cover that brochure next time. Thank you for watching and see you next time.